Well, howdy, team. If you're all anything like me, and I'm guessing you are, your local grocery store is out of a lot of things. Well, that kind of sucks, because that means the chow situation is not ideal. Well, it can be, and all it takes is just a little bit of main ingredients that you probably have around the house, like flour, salt, butter, milk, eggs, put those, put those together, and we can make us some delicious dishes, such as crepes, which we already did. Go ahead and follow this card and learn how to make crepes yourself. Today, we're gonna to use that same recipe and make apple crepes. And guys, they are amazing. So let's jump right in. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at how to make crepes. A quick recap. Let's go. Okay, bust out your trusty blender. To that, add your eggs, two of them, the milk, the water, the flour, and watch out, it'll splash. And of course, the melted butter. Blend that bad boy, and I knocked down the sides just because it got everywhere. Look at that, up again, but anyway, blend it, and then put it in the chill chest for 30 minutes. Get that air bubbles out. And then when your pans are piping hot, how about that? Go ahead and pour some in, not a lot. Get it in there and swirl it around. And when it's dry on top just like that, go ahead and flip it over. Ooh, look at that. Golden brown and delicious. Yummy. Now, in a pan, melt more butter. I added uh, brown sugar and cinnamon. I didn't even bother measuring. I don't think you should either. Just uh, go with what your heart tells you is right. <laughs> and then take that combination of sugar and cinnamon and put it in the pan. Mm, look at all that goodness. That's delicious. Okay, yeah. And, uh, well, heat it up until it's like a paste. Like this. Look at that. Delicious paste of goodness. And then add your apples. Now, I used um, Pink Ladies because they're so tart. <laughs> the Pink Ladies are tarts. I uh, thank you. Ah, that sounds racist. Anyway, I used them because, well, the tart really balanced the, uh, the, the sugar and the cinnamon. Gave it a nice flavor. Mm. And then I laid out my crepes. Now, you probably shouldn't have made them golden brown, to be honest with you, because that means they're slightly crisp. And we're going to be rolling these guys, and well, you'll see. So get the, get the apple topping and stack it high. Look at that. Delicious browning, mm, colored by the sugar and the heat of the Maillard reaction. Man, oh man, oh man. But yeah, anyway, so the, it's, uh, the problem is, is that uh, if they're slightly crisp, they're not going to fold up like a burrito. And that's, well, that's kind of what you want. Also... You can't fill it sky high, apparently, because, well, the crepes are too small. And it's important to get a seal on this side because I'm going to brown them. And I want them to, you know, hold their shape and hold the stuff inside. Look, we got to got some escaping apples. This one's much better filled, much more reasonably filled. But I wasn't, still wasn't able to get the sides like a burrito. Oh, well. Anyway, take that same pan and butter it up. I like being buttered up. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Then grease me up, woman! And then place your crepes inside them. Of course, these have the apple stuffed in them. And, well, the parts that weren't GBD are now gonna be. Well, at least that's the plan, anyway. And I think you should stick to it. It's a good plan. Ooh, look at that. That's what you're looking for. And now they, they stay folded by themselves. I don't have to, to encourage them. They done did it already. Now, wait till these bad boys are nice and done on both sides and keep fiddling with them with your spatula, apparently. Or don't. Just get them to a plate, for goodness sakes, and get some powdered sugar and sift it on top. Woo-wee! And there you have it, guys. I mean, sift to your heart's content. Make it as sweet or unsweet as you want. Maybe make savory crepes. That's an idea for a different show. But here they are. And guess what? They were awesome. Stay safe out there, guys. Enjoy some crepes. Woo. Well, that was dramatically easier than I've always been led to believe making crepes is. And thank you so much for watching. Make some crepes yourself. The ingredients are only limited by your imagination. You, know, you can make strawberries. You can make mango. I don't know, mango. Both the... Sooner or later, we're going to make brisket crepes. Brisket crepes. It's going to be amazing. Fill it with what, raspberries, suppose bananas. 
make them savory, put some chicken in there. Amazing. A whole bunch of different things you can do, all with the things you have around the house, which means that you're not going to run out during this terrible time that we call the quarantine. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.